Yo, everybody, it's Heat Override, and I'm ready to bring the pain this week. As I cannot explain the last week, I went from a lost episode to the craziest week, and I'm gonna have Chris Ray on this one for. And we are going to talk about so many things on the improv. Jumania! Oh yes, let's get to it! Yeah! What's up, Chrissy Ray? What's going on? Oh shit! An impromptu <laughs> mania. Bring the pain with Heat Override. It's Chrissy Ray. And after this week, I'm so jacked up. There's so many things that can happen in no amount of time ever. And we had so much happen at one moment, one time, right now, that we have to talk about it. And this is also going to be a small preview to... The next Bring the Pain on Tuesday with Mini Override. Ooh, yeah. So how you doing, Chris? I'm I'm great. Yeah, still wearing that Niagara Falls hoodie. That's right. Put that shit on this morning. Hell yeah. Yeah, we got the the swear. The mic switch is on. The mic switch is on. Look, we got it. We got it. Oh, yeah. it's working? Yeah, it's working. So it's working. Talk for an hour and a half or whatnot and, and not Sick, get recorded. The longest bring the pain ever about Bobby Brown has been lost. So it will be a 10, top 10, not a top 25 because that was insane. And uh, so we had some fun today. Did we not? We did. <laughs> yeah? And, I woke up. I said, mm, Rock Burger? And I've been a brat for the past three days. So and the I'll first thing, the gourmet goat was like, oh, I wanted it. I wanted it. We'll get to that. Brother. So, you know, on the impromptu mania, I, I want to talk about this is what life should be really about. Ooh, yeah. Life should be about doing things with the ones that you love just sporadically and just making it. And it didn't matter. You know, I'm t- we're going to talk about me joining karate. We're going to talk about having being on a podcast, an awesome-ass podcast this week. We're going to talk about a crazy Friday, a macho Friday, a PWR Redemption. And we're going to talk about our day today. Our day today. You can't even imagine this shit. So, without further ado... Hell Yeah! Let's get right to it. <laughs> so I don't understand what you do. Oh, you got you gotta have a little angle. You point, I, I come out. And I'm like, do I talk or are you just pointing because you're pointing? No, that's why we gotta be that's why we gotta be live, because if we're live, <laughs> people can watch what the hell I'm doing and I'm fucking. No, they nuts. can't watch. They oh, can't see you. Well, I mean Maybe I should be recording it. No, you don't have to record it right now. We're good. We're good. Now. Ooh yeah, let me tell you something. Huh? Yeah. We'll get to that too, uh. But karate, man, just started to join up. I think I can do this. Do you think I can do this? I do. You do? I think I can do this. I, You know what? Like I just said earlier, it, another thing comes to me. I just really haven't managed much to my legs, and karate in this place deals with legs. So I'm going to be, I'm going to weaken or strengthen my, <laughs> strengthen my weak spot. And just do the rest. But I love, I love it when everybody else is sparring and it's just me in the bags and I could just freaking wail the shit out of them. You would love that too. Wouldn't you? I would, but that's not my thing. Ha, okay, okay. But if you had a punch bag here at the home, would you hit it? <laughs> probably. <laughs> <laughs> I'd probably hit it a lot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> See, that's what, you, you know what? That's what Ivory said. Ivory was like, you know, when I used to get angry and shit, I just used to go over there and I, I would just hit the bags. She would just show up. Brian would let her. Yay, yay. So, yeah, I definitely want to bring the pain. But 
I'm I'm on a step process. I gotta get like I said earlier. I'm gonna get my legs in check. I gotta get my flexibility in check. I'm gonna gain strength from this, and in the end, then I can make this next step, and the next step, and the next step. Hey, I might not even make the next belt test, but I might make the next one. It's just gonna take me that long to get back to it physically. How about you? How about me? What? How do you feel? Okay. Do you think that's a good idea? It's a good platform? Because normally I would just be like, I want it all down! Yeah! What? Bring the pain! You kind of lost me somewhere. So... So I kind of feel stupid now, because you lost me. <laughs> I said... See? I can do this. Yeah, I said you can too. And then I can. And you went into something, and then and you started said, talking about punching bags, then you started talking about ivory... Then I, I kind of lost you. And I then said, you asked I have me a to question, get my flexibility. And now I feel stupid. <laughs> <laughs> what? I said, I had to get my flexibility. I have to get my leg strength. I have to get my legs under me. I have a long road. Right. And I'm not going to take it fast. I'm going to okay. take it slow. Okay, so you used to join the Oh, yeah. Woo, Rob. Go, How Rob. How do you feel? I just said it. <laughs> I mean, I don't think you have to advertise it every day you do karate that, hey, I did it. I did it. You're not in the challenge. Brother. But will you be? When you start doing your stuff? I'm doing my own challenge. Mm-hmm. So what? tell us about it. I'm not. There's nothing what? to tell. What do you want to tell? I'm <laughs> going to do this new DVD that I bought. Yep. See, Chrissy loves when her you DVDs. you guys are at karate, because yeah. nobody will be around. She won't this be he? around. You won't this be works. around. This works as a family. Brother. Works as a family. And that's what this episode is really about. The impromptu mania. <laughs> we gotta stop eating cheeseburgers. <laughs> well, no. If you do enough karate and stretches and shit, but you can eat as many cheeseburgers as you never, want. I will never stop eating cheeseburgers. Nah, man. You gotta eat burgers. <laughs> I don't fucking care. I will not stop eating cheeseburgers. You gotta break the rock. Ooh, yeah. You gotta get to eat the rock burger and like put the little things. We'll get to that. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. So that, that you know, and then karate. The whole reason I joined martial arts too is to hopefully maybe inspire, like maybe even Molly, maybe just so they can inspire, like you even, like, hey, I'm going to do this. I'm going to try my best. And I'm trying to do this also to like, you know, maybe it can show I'm 41 years old. Here we go. I'm again stepping into, into something again into that you. I never, that I've never done before that I always wanted to, and hey, I have lots of videos. So now you're doing it. No, Keep yeah. on doing it. Oh, yeah. So, <laughs> so that was exciting day one or whatnot. Let's so, go. let's move on. Then, you know, we watch a little Monday Night Raw on uh-huh. Tuesday, keep it cool. And then we come through on Wednesday, I do more karate, and that's when I was boxing it out. And then I come home immediately, get on tr- track, and I do a skit called A Vote of No Confidence in Front of You on the Rebel Scum Podcast. How did you feel about that? Is it crazy? And you were excited. I had. Yeah. I was in the paparazzi jewelry. Hell yeah! Yes. She had her earphones ear phones on. In. She was trying to buy jewelry, and I was <laughs> bringing the pain on the Rebel Scum podcast. Huh? Yeah, they wanted to sprinkle me, and uh, Charlie was a little thrown off when I decided to, uh, you know, start talking about the you know, middle macho and the things that I want to do. Huh? Yeah. Oh yeah. And it was Praetorian Guards versus Knights of Ren. Everybody went in. They all knew. I wanted the the Praetorian Guards because if I got them, I would have brought the facts. But then it was like, man, the Knights of Ren, whatever. They're just black and they got buckles. And go watch the go watch the skit. Seriously, the last episode of the Rebel Scum Podcast. You know, follow them on Twitter and YouTube. You know, me and Charlie brought the pain and. Brock and James had a good time. There's some crazy moments. I'm not going to mention them out, but it includes a mask, and it just shows that in the end, it came down to facts versus rap. Ooh, yeah! So moving over. Three. Friday. You're sick. What's up? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Brother. How you feeling sickening? You was just sick. I was. Mm-hmm. Still got a little bit, but it's better. Would you have went to that paper, that little pay-per-view at No, PWR? why do you keep asking me that? 
Would you? No. no. No? That was cool. It's this is Molly's thing. first thing. That's not my thing. She was excited. I know she was. She had a great time. I know. It doesn't that matter that, that it's, that it's great. Sick. Yeah. It was cool. And JJ Rumham. Follow Matt JJ Rumham. What? I was a punk? I thought you were a jerk. You oh. were a jerk. I tried to buy all this stuff for you and that came home. And you was like, man, I want a stromboli. I didn't. What? <laughs> I was like, a stromboli? You need soap. What? A, a soup. What? <laughs> Whatever. Brother. But we got through that. No, because right? no, when you're fucking macho man, you think you're the fucking high and mighty god. And hell it, no. Yeah, you do. Hell, hell no. Hell yeah, you do. Hell yeah, there was another macho man there. I said that. Oh, yeah. I said that yesterday at work. I was like, he thinks he's the fucking man when he's no. macho man. I was like, I can't stand when he's macho man because he thinks he's, he's this arrogant fuck. I'm not that arrogant. Yeah, you are. You just no, do I'm what not. you want. You don't give a shit. No, just, man. I'm always I'm, a dad. I'm, always a dad. What? Always a dad. Mm. Having a good time. But having another macho man was great. Yeah. His name was Dan. And he runs the. I'm gonna have to go look at this right here. I'm gonna have to go look, man, right here. Bone saws grind house. Hell yeah, he runs that. Oh yeah. And you know, he's got podcasts of his own. It's fun. But anyway, he doesn't. He's me he dressed like Macho Man, just like me. And they got we got next to each other and. We started doing the things we were talking about. Yeah, and he was I like, can't, hey, yeah. I can't even take one I macho can't man. Get with the you're you're going to put another one in the mix? Nope. Molly. I wouldn't do it anymore. Minnie was, was dying. I wasn't so, going anyway. But if I felt good, I was going to go to my parents or something. The reason why I'm going to cut this right now, yeah. I'm going to bring up DJ Squared. You know, the double macho man. Dude Tony next to us. You know, showed he showed Minnie Override a picture of his daughter in Jojo Siwa, you know, and, and then Molly, <laughs> Minnie, told them that we're going to see Jojo, 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 in two months, two months, burn, burn the burn, and then throw a shout out to PWR Wrestling, it's Pro Wrestling Brand Page, follow him, follow at JJJ, at JJ Rumham, <laughs> follow everybody, yo, the Black Sheep, Bennett Cole, all these people, these are indie people, they need to support them. Hey, they had Cody Deaner, Cody Deaner, he's an impact wrestler, follow at Cody Deaner, whatever his stuff is, but that's not going to be talked about right now. That event will be brought up this Tuesday, and a vote of no confidence also will be brought up this Tuesday when me and Mini Override do it. So, Saturday, took it a nap day. Came back Sunday. Woke up morning. Chrissy Ray, you said, I wanted to go to Rock Burger. Ooh, yeah. What? So no. tell me how you came about that. Uh, just because. <laughs> I don't know. I was... It's bright as fuck. Yeah, and I knew it was going to be like 50 degrees. And mm-hmm. I, just, I was up early because I slept good last night. Well, sort of. But what? Because yeah, I was sick. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you were up. I watched the movies. I watched like half a Tekken, and then I never caught Brave, so I just watched Brave last night. Brother. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. I and did then, And then I'm laying in bed, and the bed keeps just moving. Yes. And I'm like, and I rolled over. I was having an action-packed like dream. kicking the bed. I was fucking kicking, kicking ass. Mattress. He was kicking in his Kicking sleep. ass. Bringing the pain to the dreams. Bring the pain. And I was like, oh my God. Brother. This is true shit. And then I... She woke me up. I woke him up. I was like, you gotta stop kicking. I was like, I was just whooping some ass. And then I said, rock burger for lunch? I was so happy because I was kicking some Mark's ass. Yo, so like in this dream, there was like this whole thing. And we, at that moment, we were climbing up this building that was like raining. And we had these suction cup things. And I was like, yo, man, we got to get out this rain. We got to go in right now. Let's take them out. And we just smashed through that glass. And we was kicking some ass. And apparently I was kicking the bed. Yeah. I got what? <laughs> I was like, well, I no, guess man, I'm just, It was only know. almost 10. No, it was, it was like, like 9. 9.38. It was like 9.18. 9.38. It was like 9.18. I think 9.38. It was 9.18. What? So, we came, we came. 
Yeah, but I didn't think. I got up. I was like, all right, man, I'm going to fucking do this shit. I went out. Had oil. You, you I had cooling. No, that's not Talked how all that, that shit off. Line. Well, I'll go. Tell me out. No, that's not how What? Happened. Go out. Tell us. No. Cause tell us. You didn't want to go. Tell us. You were, or maybe you were playing me. You're like, you're being a punk. You want to go nine falls. I knew you were going to pull this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we went and spent money on groceries. Yep, yep. We all went. We spent all that money on fucking groceries. Yeah, but well, we needed the food anyway. I, my ass would have fucking ate supper at the works tonight. Fucking shit. We went all out. Why? But we got food for the week. Hell yeah, we did. We did. So we yeah, had some good times. But I was sick, and I was like, no, nah, he's taking me to Niagara Falls so I yep. can get their negative ions and their positivity. Positivity, yeah. Like the little things and that go so sprox, much sprox, 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 yeah. Brother. So... You know, we just, I'm just like, you know what, I'm fucking down, man. I don't give a shit. I don't just go up. We got nothing. We have money. Mind you, people, we have money saved for our next trip, so we're okay. So we're just like, you know what, it'll only take this little bit of money to just do this. We're still good. And that doesn't matter. So we did. Hell yeah. Because I'm just saying, we had to stick to this how this is how it came about. So I was like, you know what, fuck it, let's do it. Um, Oh, yeah. So then we started riding up and shit. And we're all cool, and we're enjoying. It's super, super ass bright ass it day. Nice. And get nice your speeding day. buddy. I had a speeding buddy. It was a it was a Porsche SUV from Ontario. Yeah. He had a broken mirror though that was taped. Yeah, he taped that mirror because that mirror cost a lot of money. He had a broken mirror. That shit was all clear taped. <laughs> clear taped. <laughs> and then we lost him because we had to. Stop. Yeah. Yeah, because we you know. gotta stop at. I think we just stopped there just to be like, "Hey, we're at the Angola no, service she, station." No, she. Yep. Every time we stop there, she what? Goes. Well, yeah. I mean, hey, whatever. Why be uncomfortable, brother? It's right there. <laughs> so, you know, yeah, we we just got up there and we're just like, all right. And we don't even need maps anymore. I don't need maps. I just go. I just know. We we mm, missed we missed the turn. Yeah, because I said pushed it out, but I I know I'm making a left, right? And we were making a left, brother. Making a left, and I was like, and we'll come down here. We're gonna make a right, right? And then we made a right, and we were straight at Rock Burger. Hell yeah! And then what was even better was gas was like forty fifty cents cheaper than it was before we left. So I was like, yo, man. Let's get some fucking gas. So, yeah. I mean, but not right that then. I was all about getting into the Rock Burger. Ooh, yeah. Because I seen, you know, I missed that Dorito Dream Boat. And I was like, damn. I was really trying to get up last weekend. What? Like, really trying to get up last weekend. What? Weekend. Just didn't happen. At weekend. Oh, my God. Hell, yeah. But I would have rather had what I had tonight. Today, I said tonight, like, I want to go back and drive and just eat more Rock Burger, but they're closed. Brother. But I was like, oh, man, I've seen this. And I'm like, goat cheese, that's just fucking weird, man. So I'm like, yeah, man, I'm fucking down for that shit. So, yeah, sorry, sorry. Hey, if you just listen to the week that I just explained... You know why I want to bring the pain. Oh, yeah. So, we we get into Rock Burger, and we're like, ah, oh, Miss J. Yeah. Miss J, it sucked. But, but, we're there for the food. We're there for the food, and have a great burger experience, and I knew that... The gourmet goat was on the menu. Ooh, yeah. So, I'm looking. I already know what I got. But I'm like, you know what, man? I'm going to get this drink, and I'm going to get me some rock rolls. And if they ever had them spinach artichoke rock rolls, I'd have brought the pain to those. But I got the pizza rolls. because oh, so good. So good. So good. So good. Damn, you went over there for like 20 minutes. I know. While well, you're talking. Well, bring it over here. Brother. Or sister. Huh? So, we 
We get over there. And I said, Where I had to I yell at you. I was like, yo, we're doing a podcast. I mean, I know Get the that. fuck over here. We are talking. <laughs> Hell yeah. So, yeah, but I'm to Rockburger now, and now I need your explanations, and I need your things <laughs> coming okay. back. Chris Ray moving a little slow. She's still recovering from the little flu bug. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Little thing. That's the whole reason I want to go to Niagara Falls. Good on your thing, and you're like, oh yeah, you want some Heal mist. Kill me. So, uh, we get All to right, Rock, Rock Burger. Burger. Yep, you already said this. I order the gourmet go, and you or you and Molly order the tight rope walker. Oh yes. Mm. Like, so you add bacon, egg, cheese, mayonnaise on this. Double bacon. Double, double bacon. egg. No. Double, double bacon, bacon. Double cheese. And then stuffed with cheese. Yep, yeah, it's stuffed with the egg. Hell yeah! It's stuffed with the bacon and the cheese, and then there's what? cheese and bacon on the t- top of the burger. Yes. And then yes. there's a fried yes. egg on top of that. Yes. And then there's mayonnaise on it. Yes. I got mine with mayonnaise. Molly, Yo, Molly got her Minnie, with ketchup. Minnie, Minnie was trying to get the forget about it because she was trying to go, but it was pretty much like a mozzarella and it was stuffed with chicken. She didn't know, so she just followed mom's suit. She was just like, yeah, what's like, up, Chrissy oh, Ray? She got the type of walker. Put that guy. I got so yo, I got the gourmet goat. Let's let's represent yeah, goat cheese. It had mushrooms. It was stuffed with goat cheese and mushrooms. It was topped with artichokes, provolone, a white balsamic aioli, and because they created this crazy Krispy Kreme pizza burger the day prior for a dollar upgrade. I could wrap that bitch in a motherfucking Krispy Kreme donut. Two of them. Ooh, yeah. So I did. Yeah, All right, Krispy Kremes, mushrooms, artichokes, goat cheese, polo, white balsamic, aioli, and a perfectly seasoned rock burger. What? Hell yeah. That's a double, double. That was some good shit. It was perfectly seasoned. So, yo. <sighs> ate it all and then I was like you know cause I, I, I'm i a good dude so I knew I was getting these rock rolls for me and Chrissy to share and I knew Molly had them them uh them banging ass tater tots tater tots what tater tots what but you've been over there for like an hour <laughs> oh yeah! Brother, what are you doing? Dog got the dog up and shit, brother. And so we had an amazing time. It was amazing. And we were served as always. Great service. Good stories. Sad, I miss Jay. But it doesn't matter. Because his crew knew how to bring the pain. They did. So, you know, and that's a crazy, and that's why. So when I was eating the the gourmet goat, so goat cheese has like a little tang to it, right? So you got to get the tang, yeah. So if you like, you were back in the day with like he'd override when he was like age ten, uh, yeah. My dad used to go to this goat. Farm, yeah, little goat farm, uh huh, yeah, little what goat farm, and uh, we used to buy goat milk, yeah, did it, yeah, 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 oh, yeah, so we used to buy goat milk, and I uh, knew the little bit of goat, yeah, so yeah, as I came back out, I was like, yo, it's gonna be crazy, and then, and then I was like, yo, if you wrap that between like the two Krispy Kremes, the glazed outer shell. Is gonna like sweeten when like the goat cheese hits, and then you're gonna get like a beautiful creamy explosion. Hell yeah! And it was great. It was freaking great. And I choose not to swear there because honestly, even though the explicit tag is thing, I want to be remain as professional as possible. But <laughs> I also have to be. On the edge because that's why we bring the pain. So, you know, we did. We decided to do the roundabout trip. We decided to uh, go to Canada. Who decided that? 
You know I was down for it. Who decided it in in the long run? It, Molly decided. Molly. It. Molly. Mini, Mini override Molly. decided to decided to go to Canada, right? So I'm like, all right, we just leave Rockburger, and I'm I wasn't up. planning on going to the Canadian side. Oh, uh, you was no, going, I wasn't. You going going to Canadian side? We're going to Canada. I know. So like four bucks, man. We can have a good time. We did. Yep. So on my way up, I farted and I had a wet fart. Oh, what? What? Wait, you're doing this? Telling them? <laughs> no. <laughs> whatever. Self humility. Whatever. Telling I'm them. all do it. So I had it. I was like, whoa, right? But it wasn't bad. I was like, yep. <laughs> but it was very uncomfortable for the moment. It smelled bad. <laughs> it smelled bad. Brother. So I was like, what the fuck? I mean, if we're going there, then yeah. we're, I'm going to go there on the other side of yeah. it. So I rolled so down the window. We didn't know. And I was like, yeah, we're near some sewage plants right now. <laughs> no, what? We said, we're in the industrial what? neighborhood. Yeah, they just burned off some chemicals. <laughs> And I'm like, and I didn't find you know, this out till we got home. I was like, that smell. Was- I was like, I, I was just like, if custom pulls us right now, <laughs> what? I would have been like, what the fuck, man? <laughs> I wouldn't have known why he was so mad <laughs> because he didn't tell anybody what really happened <laughs> nope. until we got home. No, <laughs> until we parked. <laughs> yep, yeah, parked. But I'm not gonna tell that story. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you how, what? how we found out about it. So, I think so everything anyways, was great. So we paid $5 out. for parking. And uh, we benefited. We took a walk. Yep. It was great. And we got some, oh, we didn't get fudge. Or we didn't, I didn't get a candy apple. But we got some gummies. And we got some maple cookies. And Molly got some really cool cotton sand. Yeah, it's like slime sand. Like yeah, it's really crazy. Kinetic sand. What? So, we did, we did that, and, you know, we're just like, yo, you know? <laughs> and we go and see the falls. We have the great movement. You know what? I don't care. I'm 40 fucking one. I just started karate because I don't give a fuck because I bring the pain. And, hey, we had a little moment, and then we went down to the falls, took some pictures, got some beautiful pictures of the falls, and then... We went back up, and we that's when we got the, the candy apple, or we not the candy. We went to the Great American your, Midway. Went to the Midway. <laughs> so that was an adventure. Made sure I could last, and everything was fine from there. Yeah, it was great. And then we had a good time. It was a good Sunday fun day. An impromptu mania week. Ended off with an exclamation point. And I said this on Friday. I was like, man, how can I freaking end this week even better than just... Oh, so you did this for your own side. No, it wasn't. There was just no way. And then you just did it. And I was like kicking the bed. And we just did that. So we decided to do the roundabout trip. I love the QEW. Mm -hmm. Freaking took the QEW all the way back. Not all the way back. It's all the yeah. way back out of Canada. Yep. Got got to Buffalo. Pretty much. Which one takes you? It takes you to cost Buffalo. over cost crossed over to the Peace Bridge. And then there was no wait. And then we I did an ins- I decided to top out the car at hundred miles per hour. Should you be saying that? What? I mean, I can admit it, but they don't have it recorded, so you have it recorded. You just are recording it. But they don't have my car doing that fast. So it's just hearsay, even though I said, I oh. thought I did 100 miles per hour. What? <laughs> and we had an amazing trip back. Sunset was, the sun was huge. It was bright. It was in our eyes. We had shades down. But it was a, it was a great time to come back to and just a great, great weekend. And then we had to come home and bring the pain because why not talk about it? Why not? Because this is this is what life's about. Life's about inspire, inspiration and having a good time and always remembering that it doesn't matter what happens or if you take a little away from something else and you go through what you can, you can always 
have a good time. You can always make things different. You can always just sporadically do things. And it's okay. It's okay to be impromptu. That's why this whole week, and this was not planned, this just happened. It just happened because Molly, Mini Override's amazing. She inspired me to join karate. She's been working on me for years, but, you know, I had that surgery last year, and now I want to make everything better and make stronger and just be cool and inspire her, or maybe it's just inspire people that I'm that old, and then inspire her to take trips and eat burgers. Hell, always eat cheeseburgers, right? That's right. That's right. So, without that being said... I think, honestly, we've had a great, amazing episode about family and fun and how it doesn't matter. You were sick. You bounced up. Rock burgered it. (laughs) Ate that burger. Killed some shit. Had a great time. Took a shit. (laughs) What? And that's why we always... Bring the pain! Oh yeah.